What a friend. Jesus. What he needs Father, we're thankful, we're grateful that you give us access unto your holy throne by way of prayer. And that the friendship that we share with your holy son, Jesus, we can take everything to you in prayer. And we are so thankful and grateful that you will provide a solace for us there. Yes, we come now, O oh God, to gather around your word. And as we gather around your word, we ask, O oh God, that you would hide me behind your dear cross. That these, your children, your lambs, your sheep, your friends, mm, we hear what you desire for all of us to hear in spite of what I may do or say. In the name of Jesus, we pray, amen, amen. Um, we want to call your attention to the Old Testament uh, book of Psalms, which is part of our lectionary uh, scripture readings of this morning, uh, Psalm 62, uh, and we would like to hover uh, around verse eight, as taken from the English Standard Version of our Bibles. Do this here. Okay, there we go. There we go. We're gonna mute you a little bit. Amen. Amen. And we're gonna mute you as well. Amen. Thank you. All part of the worship celebration uh, here uh, at Dallas Indian Mission. Amen. Uh, the English Standard Version translation of our Bible reads as such. Trust in him 
at all times. O oh, people, or you people, uh, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us, Selah. Uh, make note of Selah, uh, which uh, will encourage us to pause, whether it's a musical collect, uh, selection, uh, but it says think about what was just said. Pause, give careful thought. For in this single verse, we find a wealth of our relationship and all of the benefits that we can receive from God as being our refuge. The Hebrew word for refuge is uh, mekshe or mekshe, depending on whether you are from Judea or from Galilee uh, as such. And, and, and it suggests as a refuge or a shelter, it is suggesting that we are trying to get out of danger and coming to this place of refuge or shelter. That something prior to us getting to this point hmm, that we are seeking refuge from something outside of the joy and the security and the health and the the, the, the peace that is part of the sheltering of God. So just for a few more moments, we'd like to share with you, uh, enter on empty as being uh, something we want to look at uh, as uh, how we may enter the shelter. Mm -hmm and how best we can enter the shelter of God's love, of God's security, of, of, of God and his love, hmm? from the dangers, from the sorrows, from the outside world into this sheltering place of God, how best we can do that. First of all, when we examine this scripture, uh, and we have mate scripture of Psalm 46 and Psalm 91. Psalm 46 and 1 said, God is our refuge, mm, a very present and our strength and, and, and a very present help in time of trouble. Yes. Uh, su suggest that we have experience something and we're going through something, we're going through a storm perhaps, and, and then we can go to God. And in going to God, uh, we have the sheltering, we have the protection, uh, we, we have the absence of whatever is troubling us. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that God is uh, the machet of us. God is the shelter for us. Mm -hmm. And that this shelter mm, is eternal. It is not going to change. Uh, that God will always be God, whether there is what we may call good or bad. Mm -hmm that God can be trusted to provide a sheltering place for us, a comfort for us, a consolation, a consolation for us, no matter what we experience prior to entering the shelter. And, 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 and uh, the first part of the verse is trust in him at all times not just when times are somewhat stressful, then we gravitate towards a relief. 
But we are to trust in God at all times. Whether the times be pleasant or whether the times be difficult. Yes, yes. We, since last we met last Sunday, so many things has happened in our lives, mine in particular, that it may be put in a category of not being pleasant, of being difficult. Yes, yes, yes. We, 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 we've had uh, services for uh, our past loved ones. We had uh, a beloved member passing on to glory. Uh, in my personal life, we have come to a rela uh, realization that, yeah, I saw my 80-year-old, 88-year-old mother as being 88 and diminishing in some of the things that I need uh, to recalibrate my expectations as, ex as a response to the times that we're in. Uh, uh, just a bevy of things, good and bad, yet God remains eternal and we ought to trust in God to be God at all times. And God is good at all times. And we can trust that God and what he gives us, what he allows in our lives, what he causes in our lives, we may not agree with it. We may dislike it. We may have trouble with it. We may cause a fuss about it. But in the end, God can be trusted that God's will is ever directed towards all of God's people. And when we submit to trusting God, no matter what the circumstance may be, then we will be a part of God's sheltering of which we have no human finite knowledge of the peace, of the comfort, of the consolation that's within the shelter of God's love for us. We cannot know that hmm, as we go forward in this verse unless hmm, we pour out whatever's in us out before the Lord. If we seek to hold on to whatever's in us, then I'm afraid uh, it is suggested that we may not reap the full benefits of the shelter of God. If we don't pour out our heart before God, if we choose to hold on to that which makes us sad, if we are not trusting in God to be transparent with God, to be honest with ourselves and God, whereas we pour out our feelings, good and or bad or indifferent, then we cut ourselves short of receiving the full benefit of entering God's shelter. It is suggested here that in order to enjoy the deliverance, in order to enjoy the comfort and the consolation, the fullness thereof, that we must enter the shelter of God being empty, where we have poured out whatever it is before Almighty God. God, who does not need to be informed on how we feel, on the trouble that we may be experiencing within whatever circumstance, or even the job, God knows us better than we could ever know ourselves. It is for our benefit to pour out, to let it out from the bottom of our hearts, 
from the most deepest of our spirits, our souls that we pour out and share what's troubling us, what's stressing us, what is making us joyful, good times and bad times that we pour out before God. Certainly, uh, the, the difficult times in our lives, we sometimes get so confused about letting it go, that we want to hold on to the pain, that we want to hold on to the sorrow, that the storms of our lives we're so used to going through that, 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 that we don't want to release hmm, those things that upset us, that are troubling us, that are buffering us. We, 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 we tend want to hold on and try to do it by ourselves, trying to be the quote unquote strong person uh, that we think God is calling us to be. Yes, and, and, and we uh, don't want to empty it out. Perhaps we're too comfortable with the sorrow. Perhaps we're too comfortable with the past. Perhaps we may feel it may be a dishonor to our past loved one if we pour it out or release what's really getting us to a point of even paralyzation of not wanting to go forward. But here in the words of the great preacher, Charles Spurgeon, he says, turn your, the vessel of your soul upside down hmm, and let it be poured out Whatever the contents it is, let it be poured out before God to be empty. And if we empty ourselves of our sorrow, our pain, our stress, our fear, our doubt, hmm, then we may enter empty of ourselves so that God would pour in whatever that needs to be poured in once we are in the shelter of God's holy place, hmm? that we pour out hmm, our sorrow. We pour out with honesty that, Lord, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to make it without my loved one. I don't know how we're going to meet the demands of tomorrow. I'm afraid. I'm scared, God. I can't do this by myself. I've tried and I've tried. I'm stuck. I don't want to go far. You pour it out unto him that I need something, something, someone, something said, something done that would help me. Hmm. in my pain that will help me in my sorrow. I don't know how to get rid of it. Pour it out, the psalmist says, before him. Let it all out before him. Let your tears hmm, flow. Let everything about you be poured out as an open book before God. Hmm. Pour it out, cry out. Men has been known to keep things in, whereas our female counterparts are more expressive of what's going on in the inside. I would encourage you and myself to let it go, let it come out, let it be shared with others hmm? because looking at this verse it is suggested that it is about community whereas we share 
in an outward expression of what's going on with others. Note it says old people or you people. Note it also says for us. It is part of the community that we share, that we pour out with one another. Hmm? That, 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 that we share openly so others may share in the burden, share in the joy that we pour it out. We pour it out before our God. Huh? That, 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 that person that that God has put in your life, or those persons, or this church that we pour it out together. And when we do, we can all enter into the shelter, into the refuge that God is to comfort our souls. Yes, that we do it together, that we pour out together. Uh, yes, sir, sis, uh, Sister Tracy, Sister Tracy has, has said to me, I'm going to heaven and I'm going to take you with me. Yes, we, we, we are going to heaven and we're going to take somebody with us. That we're going to travel this journey with each other. That we pour out for one another because there are some times hmm, that we on an individual basis, hmm, need help of pouring out our vessels unto the Lord. That we need somebody uh, to help us pour out to God what words cannot adequately express ourselves if we had to say it by ourselves, but somebody will help us in the pouring out of ourselves. Yes, yes. On last night, hmm, the Comanches sung a Choctaw song. Huh? And they poured out for a Choctaw. Yes, they did. And it was touching as a pouring out of who we are, that we are going into the shelter of God together, pouring out for each other. I'm so glad hmm, that somebody is pouring out for me, that somebody is praying for me, that we are praying for each other. Aren't you so glad that somebody is praying for you, that we are pouring out with each other, for each other, by each other, that we may all enter into the shelter of our God. All of creation is pouring out for us. If we just let it, if we just let the mighty oak spread its branches towards heaven and we can join with that oak tree and pouring out, of who God is as king of glory, as a shelter that sustains all life, that we, like the mighty eagle, will pour out with a screech, that we, like the wolf uh, who howls at the moon, oh, that we pour out of our souls along with creation, along with the cry of a baby, along with the joyful shouts of the saints of God that we pour out and we pour out so that we are empty. Hmm. And when we enter empty of ourselves unto the holy refuge, God will pour in something that the words of human beings cannot adequately express. Hmm? Romans 8 26 says that the Holy Spirit prays for us, intercedes for us with words that no human articulation could adequately 
express the deep contrition, the deep sorrow, the deep pain, and at the same time, the love of God, the bond that heals, no words can put it into expressions that could be intelligible to the finite mind with groanings. Hmm. It's just to hear somebody hum. Hmm. Just to hear somebody yell, yes! Just to hear somebody pour out for us and say, hallelujah! Just to hear someone give us hmm, aid in pouring out that we all may enter into God's refuge on empty. So he will fill us up with his love. He will fill us up with his encouragement. He will fill us up with our joy. We will fill us up with his being our refuge. Entering God's shelter on empty. Amen and amen. He who Church, amen. Yes, let us say amen again.